I want to give a thanks to the patron Zombie Fox. Before this video starts, I want to say two things. The first thing I want to say is that as I was making this video, part one was hit with a copyright strike because I forgot to speed up a clip in my video for where Hassan got out of his chair and left a video playing. For the record, it was not Hassan who struck my video. And because I didn't edit it, I had to cut it out of the video. Now, I'm going to play the clip here, but this time edited, don't worry because, well, for one, I don't want to get a copyright strike again. And two, because it just displays not only how ignorant Hassan is on fair use, but it just shows how he steals content from people. Now, if you want to hear more about Hassan's content not being fair use and how he does not understand what fair use is, you can go to my first video on Hassan and go to two other videos made by Mahler on Hassan. The first one being Hassan Piker, Man of Steel, which shows a bunch of clips of Hassan getting out of his chair and letting videos play. And there's also this comment left by Solar Sands in the comment section of this video, which is just perfect. And then there is also the EFAP podcast episode Mahler made where he talks talks about how stupid Hassan is when it comes to fair use for nine hours. If someone can make a nine hour long video pointing out how wrong Hassan is when it comes to fair use, that alone just shows how ignorant Hassan is when it comes to fair use. Links for all three videos will be in the description below and also the second thing I want to say is that for my first video, I had to make two versions of it. One was the one where it was censored, which is publicly available, and the other one was the red band version I made that was uncensored, which was only available on Patreon. Because for my first video, if I showed everything uncensored, I knew this video wouldn't have been shown to a lot of you because YouTube likes to waffle stomp videos down the drain that contains things that are controversial, even if they are being used for a joke. As I was making this video, I realized I can't censor this video because not only would I have to censor so much of what I have to say, but I honestly think if I were to censor everything, then I don't think you guys would be able to properly understand what my points are. So because of that, this entire video will be uncensored. Lord help my fucking channel. So if you could, please leave a like on the video as it helps it be shown more in the algorithm and subscribe if you're new to the channel as it helps the channel grow. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The verse will be like. Imagine if you could be at the office without the computer. You would still have that sense of presence, shared physical space, there's a chance in- I also got a Discord you can join, filled with some interesting people. What in the god If you want to support me even further, I have a Patreon you can check out where you can get things like one hour early access to videos, and I also got merch if you're interested in getting some of that. Now, with that out of the way, let's just jump straight into the video. Good morning, my fellow Nibbas. Hope you're all doing well, and today we are going to be talking about Hassan Piker once again, because this is part two to the first video I made on him. If you want to check out part one, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go give it a watch. Anyways, for this part in my series of videos I'm making about Hassan, we are going to be talking about his history of slandering people, which for those who are familiar with Hassan lore, this shouldn't be surprising that he has slandered people considering he used to be a journalist. Now, in order to cover this topic, I figured the best way to do it is to take a look at every person I was able to find who Hassan has made slanderous remarks about in any shape or form who isn't a politician and go over the slanderous statements Hassan has made about them and debunk his slanderous remarks. Anyways, because I don't want to keep you in the intro for too long, the amount of people Hassan has slandered that I'm going to have to talk about for this video, and because it's been two months since the first part to this series, I figured we might as well- I'm not seriously a racist, alright? 
When it comes to most modern journalists nowadays, they are some of the most stupid, desperate, annoying, racist shit stains on this planet because all they do is bitch about nothing, write incredibly stupid articles that make you wish you were illiterate, and they slander people so they can get outrage clicks in order to save their dying industry. One of their favorite targets to slander for their articles is YouTubers, and Hassan, back when he was a journalist for the Young Turks, was no different from the other journos in this regard. You see, back in 2018, PewDiePie, who we will talk about later in this video, decided to make a video called Do Not Subscribe to PewDiePie, and in this video, he decided to shout out a bunch of YouTubers he liked. It did not matter if you were big or small, if you were a YouTuber PewDiePie liked, he shouted you out. Hey, he told me about the Left 5 Bros who's doing an Oblivion playthrough right now. Check out also Will Burger. We also have Beppy, we also have Diesel Patches. Now, there was one YouTuber that PewDiePie shouted out that caught Hassan's attention. That being a YouTuber by the name of ER. We also have ER, who does great video essays about, uh, he did one on, uh, Death Note, which I really, really enjoy. This was because of the fact ER's videos have some jokes that I can best describe as edgy. You know what would be a great movie for the title, Get Out? A sequel to Pacific Rim, in which a portal breach opens on the U.S.-Mexico border, and the U.S. government revitalizes the Jaeger program to protect the border wall from the illegal aliens. Today we face the monsters that are at our door! Instead, we got this. She's just confused. All she can think to do is figure out her place in all of this. I need someone. Show me my place. Now because journals like Hassan don't know what jokes are, Hassan took what ER said seriously, and because of this, he decided to lead a slander campaign against ER by saying that he was a Nazi. And Hassan decided to use some jokes that ER made as evidence for his claim. Let's take a look at some of his evidence. Find flaws in PewDiePie's channels he likes? Flaws don't equal the entirety of their content? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Like, how do you not understand what he's saying, dude? He's saying that one video doesn't describe the entire channel. This guy is basically saying if you put a video up like this... Woman, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, I fucking hate women. How about that? Fuck you. That doesn't describe your channel. And PewDiePie's shoutouts are... One of the other channels that he shouted out was a channel called E semicolon R. A channel that has a video that literally features... 20 minutes, or not 20, sorry, 4 minutes of uninterrupted footage from a speech Hitler gave from a, uh, from a content creator that has talked about red-pilling his friends about the Jewish question. Yeah, that seems like a fucking big problem, especially if the majority of his fans are like 14-year-old kids who are going to go over to this fucking channel and start watching this guy's like cartoon videos, this guy's anime videos. This dude, ER, from what I've seen thus far, writes essays. Okay, so the first piece of evidence is that ER played a speech of Hitler for one of his jokes. But I don't know where they are! Alright, so I think it's safe to say that the majority of people understand that this is a joke which was not meant to be taken seriously at all. Because if we were to use Hassan's logic that using a speech Hitler gave in your joke makes you a Nazi, then that would mean PewDiePie is a Nazi for using a Hitler speech for a joke that he made in his YouTube Heroes video. So yeah, for him to say that ER is a Nazi because he showed a Hitler speech for a joke in one of his videos doesn't make sense at all, and just shows that Hassan doesn't know what a Nazi is. Also, if you understood the joke, you know that it's Steven being brainwashed by the gems, and because of this brainwashing, he is turned into a Nazi, one of the worst things of all time. And also, in order to get the joke, you would have to know that the Nazis are bad in order to find it funny. Dear God, you are so stupid. 
stupid. But wait, we still have some more evidence to go through, so let's keep watching. Like, I don't think he's doing the fucking white supremacist emoji or whatever the fuck. Did, did he really just say that the OK sign is a white supremacist symbol? Like, I don't think he's doing the fucking white supremacist emoji. Like, I don't think he's doing the fucking white supremacist emoji. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> this just shows how dumb Hassan is. Alright, so for those who don't know, 4chan wanted to create a hoax to fuck with journalists, and this hoax was that the OK sign is a white supremacist symbol. And because journalists are morons that don't do any research whatsoever, they all fell for it, and it was deemed a white supremacist symbol. Which just shows that journalists don't do any research whatsoever, and Hassan calling it a white supremacist symbol just shows how stupid he is. Oh my god, the fact that anyone takes him seriously just fucking blows my mind. Oh god. The thing about why this took so long is because I thought it was funny to call Black L N-word lit throughout all of my recordings, obviously because it was an ingeni ingenious pun on lawlit, pronounced lawlit. I eventually got through my thick fucking skull that YouTube's looking for any reason, so I redid all the audio to erase my speech crime, but then I got bored and put the project on pause. Now I'm going to finish it. Uh, his Gab account is also on here, and he fucking calls his Patreon the Shameless Shekel Shakedown. As we can clearly see here, Hassan is giving in to his natural instincts of being a journalist by not understanding what a joke is, because I think it's clear to tell this entire description is just a joke that is sarcastic in text. Oh my god, I know four-year-olds with better comprehension skills. Alright, you know what guys, I'm not gonna have you watch the rest of this, because the rest of his points can be easily brought up, and they are that his Heather Hyde's joke isn't a joke, but it's actually the ER saying that he th thinks she died of a heart attack later after the car crash. Which, if you don't know, that was a conspiracy started by neo-Nazis. Even though this doesn't make any sense at all, because ER shows the footage of her clearly getting hit by the car, which contradicts the conspiracy theory. If he were a Nazi, why would he show footage that debunks a Nazi conspiracy theory? It just doesn't make any sense. A lot of ER's humor involves shock value, so I, I just don't get why Hassan thinks that ER believes in that conspiracy theory, it just doesn't make sense. Then finally, there's one video ER made where he was joking about the JQ. Yeah, this does look like a joke. I mean, come on, literally in the video he calls Seth Rogen a human bong, which you'd have to be if you were making tweets like this. Basically, this video is repeating the joke that he made in the Stephen Rapeyverse video about Pearl being psychotic. In fact, this entire video is just based off a joke Adam Sandler made, where he sings a song about Jewish people in Hollywood. In fact, if you look under the pictures of people that he's showing in his video, you can clearly see ER making a bunch of jokes about these people. In fact, for the Sarah Silverman one he showed, he made a joke about her being figurative Hitler. Alright, so let me ask you this. Why would a Nazi be comparing Hitler to a Jewish person? Don't you think a Nazi would be disgusted by that? By somebody m even making that comparison? It just doesn't make sense to call ER a Nazi. Honestly, this video is just shock humor for the sake of shock humor. And then there's ER's gab post, which ER himself confirmed to be a joke. And also, in his Harry Potter video, he talked about how he did not want kids watching his content, and that he only wants people that are mature enough for his style of humor, people that know he is joking when he's making edgy jokes, to watch his videos because they won't actually be indoctrinated into the ideologies he's joking about. If this gab post were true, then he wouldn't have said he doesn't want children, who are the best targets of indoctrination, to watch his videos. If you were trying to indoctrinate someone, then you would want the people who are the most easy to indoctrinate into an ideology to hear what you're saying. So saying that ER is trying to indoctrinate people into Nazi ideology and that this gab post proves it just 
doesn't make any sense. I can believe ER that he was telling a joke in that Gab post. Because if you look at a lot of the other posts on the Gab account, you can clearly see that a majority of the posts on his Gab account are just shit posts. And on his YouTube channel, you can find a lot of things that he does and says that a Nazi just wouldn't say. Such as in this clip from his Legend of Korra video, where he talks about how Zuko felt conflicted, in which he says that Even though he was brought up since childhood to be a Nazi, Nazi. Cora was brought up in a stable home. If you think about it, this would be very strange behavior from a Nazi to use the word Nazi to describe something that is evil and authoritarian. Like, why would a Nazi do that? It just doesn't make sense. Then there's also the fact that ER has also called out creators of shows for being racist. Just me, or has the Disney Star Wars gone out of their way to emasculate their black male characters? Granted, there are only two prominent ones so far. We'll have to wait for a third before sussing out a pattern. <laughs> Still, it's not looking good. Finn was this cowardly, goofy oaf tripping over himself to impress Rey in TFA. And even though he got to be a little bit heroic in the end, he wasn't allowed to outshine the white woman, and so was made almost literally spineless. Then in The Last Jedi, he became something of a background character until they set the stage for him to fight the most pointless character in both movies. Then he tried to nobly sacrifice himself to save the rebellion, but then the Asian woman violently stole his spotlight. Can a brother finally get some respect, please? I could even touch Nicki Minaj's game. If ER were a Nazi, then he would be supporting these racial depictions instead of condemning them. Then there's also this clip. Nazi ER? Are you a pony? Which, if you don't get, it's him saying no because he's answering that person's question with another question. That being, are you a pony? Which that person's obviously gonna say no, which also answers that person's question, which is that no, ER is not a Nazi. There's also the fact that ER went on EFAP, which is a podcast ran by Mahler, with another guest that was a black woman. And if he were a Nazi, I don't think he'd go on a podcast with a black woman considering considering that Nazis don't necessarily like black people. And also on the same podcast, he confirmed that a lot of the stuff people see as alt-right is a shtick. Intellectual level, a little overtly fashy. How does something be a little overtly? A little overtly. A little majorly fashy. It's, 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 it's somewhat obvious, you know? That's my whole shtick. What? It's my whole shtick. Oh yeah, you're you're right. Yeah, 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 a little bit. <clears throat> How do you even spell fashy? Hell, if you want even more proof, I got into contact with somebody who worked with ER, and he said that he is not a Nazi. Anyways, in conclusion, Hassan saying that ER is a Nazi is either one of the most stupid things I have ever heard come out of another human being's mouth, or one of the biggest lies I have ever heard come out of another human being's mouth. And the reason why I say it's either one of those two is because I don't know if he's lying in order to get outrage clicks from this stream, so he can make more money and get more publicity from all this, which is a scummy thing a lot of journalists do in order to get attention and money, or in the case of it being something stupid Hassan is saying, if he actually believes in what he is saying because of how he unironically said that he sees the okay sign as a white supremacist symbol and because of the fact that he was happy that Count Dankula was going to jail. Which actually now that I think about it I'm more inclined to believe that this was just something incredibly stupid that Hassan said. And if that is the case then Hassan does not know what a Nazi is at all. And honestly judging by his podcast with H3H3 and the recent garbage they conceived and aborted out as I was recording this video just makes me more inclined to believe that Hassan doesn't know what a Nazi is. Vote for in the primary. I think, I think I'll probably vote for Bernie. Him as a human being, when I was hanging out with him, and yeah. I, I, I believe in him. I like him. I like him a lot. What Bernie stands for is a guy- Oh dear. Why would somebody who likes the Nazis have someone like Bernie Sanders, a Jewish socialist- Oh, hold up. Democratic socialist. <laughs> on their podcast, and say multiple times on said podcast that he likes Bernie Sanders and would vote for him and has voted for him in the past. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, ER and Hassan. Anyways, yeah, uh, Hassan saying ER is a Nazi is complete horseshit. And also one of the most slanderous things he has ever said. And I'm not the only one who believes this as well. I mean, just look at the like to dislike. Oh, wait a minute. So, 
The update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. Fuck you. However, during that whole scandal he started, he wasn't just trying to slander ER in that whole thing, he was also trying to slander... What a fucking nick. Along with slandering ER during the whole situation he caused in 2018, he also slandered PewDiePie. He did this by trying to make it look like PewDiePie is linked to the alt-right because he shouted out ER. He has an interest in red-pilling people and turning them over to Nazism or to fascist ideology. How do you think this will play out when PewDiePie hypes this guy's fucking channel? Do you not find an issue with that? Do you not think that that is insanely irresponsible? Yeah, 14 year olds and 12 year olds and whoever the fuck is watching PewDiePie is gonna go over to this dude's channel who already picked up 12,000 new subs apparently since uh, fucking he got a shout out from PewDiePie. What do you think is gonna happen to those children when they fucking grow up? It's possible PewDiePie hasn't seen this. That's really interesting because apparently the video he shouted out in his fucking video has the description that is very fairly indistinguishable because he fucking went on to his channel and wrote this. Where is it? The last death note. Like in a textbook or? This is the video. Okay. This is the video that PewDiePie greatly enjoyed. Okay. In his channels, the, in his some channels he likes to watch. I'm gonna read you the description, and you tell me what you get that out of that. The truth about why this took so long is because I thought it was funny to call Black L N word lit throughout all of my recordings. Obviously, because it was an ingenious ingenious pun on lawlit, pronounced lawlit. I eventually got through my thick fucking skull that YouTube's looking for any reason, so I redid all the audio to erase my speech crime, but then I got bored and put the project on pause. Now I'm going to finish it. Uh, his Gab account is also on here, and he fucking calls his Patreon the Shameless Shekel Shakedown. Wait, oh, what is that? Oh, that's a note from PewDiePie. Now I'm excited to watch, uh, now I'm excited for Death Note 2, just for another video like this one. I wonder what that is, dude. Hey, PewDiePie probably has no idea what this guy is about, dude. You know what? Three months ago, he wasn't watching his fucking videos, and and, and, and he, he probably had no fucking clue, dude. He was just, like, in it for the memes, dog. He was just in it for the memes, dude. You think that journos would have learned not to say this type of crap after what happened to the Washington Post, but I guess not. Well, I've already shown that ER is not a Nazi, so this claim just doesn't make any sense anymore. Also, PewDiePie just said he liked ER's anime reviews. He did not say that he liked ER's channel because he makes a lot of Nazi references. Like, this would be entirely different if he said that, but he doesn't. Great video essays about, uh, he did one on, uh, Death Note, which I really, really enjoyed. I'll all he's doing is just promoting anime review content. He is in no way promoting Nazi ideals. Hassan also tried to imply that because PewDiePie gave ER a shout out, a person who Hassan says is trying to convert people to Nazism, PewDiePie is also converting people to Nazism. He has an interest in red pilling people and turning them over to Nazism or to fascist ideology. How do you think this will play out when PewDiePie hypes this guy's fucking channel. Which, again, as I said before in my previous section, ER isn't trying to convert people to Nazism. And also, ER is not a Nazi, so why would ER be trying to convert people to a group he isn't a part of? That would be like atheists trying to convert people to Christianity. Now, obviously, like the Washington Post, Hassan got a lot of hate for this, and because of that, he chose to lie and cover his ass, instead of apologizing to both PewDiePie and ER. We never said that, dude. We never said you're a Nazi. We didn't say you're like personally indoctrinating fucking kids into being into Nazism. We just said it's insanely irresponsible. But Hassan, that is what you said. Don't you remember? He has an interest in red pilling people and turning them over to Nazism or to fascist ideology. How do you think this will play out when PewDiePie hypes this guy's fucking channel? And wait a minute, Hassan, I thought by your logic, PewDiePie is a Nazi, because PewDiePie played a Hitler speech in his YouTube Heroes program video in order to make a joke, just like ER did. Parteitag, der Bewegung geht zu Ende. Was 
für Millionen Deutsche, die außerhalb... So is ER not a Nazi, or did you start this whole situation in order to get attention? Also, shouts out to the little Hassan Piker tweet in the... Uh, in the in the bottom and no surprise everyone saw through hassan's bullshit again and people began shitting on him even more it's a big surprise pewdiepie made this video where he basically just shat on the people like hassan and the news companies because they were totally full of shit and he also said that if he knew that er had a lot of nazi jokes in his videos he wouldn't have given er a shout out not because he doesn't think nazi jokes are funny or anything like that it's mainly because pewdiepie is just trying to distance himself from that type of humor and because of that he removed er from the shout out thought it would be nice if i gave a shout out to some smaller channels that i enjoy and i thought hey the more the merrier now apparently one of those 28 uh likes to have hidden and not so hidden nazi references in his videos and you know obviously if i've noticed that i wouldn't have referenced in him in the shout out because i said my not because i have a problem with nazi references being offensive in themselves but because i said publicly uh, a year and a half ago that i was going to distance myself from uh nazi jokes and that kind of stuff because I want nothing to do with it, and I don't really care about it. Throughout this entire video, you can tell PewDiePie is just trying his best to not make it sound like he's apologizing to these people. All you have to do is compare it to when he was apologizing for saying the N-word, and you can see that PewDiePie just doesn't want to sound like he's apologizing to these people, because he isn't sorry, let's be honest. I mean, hell, he put the clip of him shouting out ER in his response video. If he was sorry for doing this, he wouldn't even mention ER's name or put him in the video. He just would have said one of the channels or something referring to ER. Like you're 14 now. Towards neo-Nazi content on YouTube. Probably something that someone should check into. I agree. We should check into it. Why don't we just do that, shall we? Let's see what he actually said. Ah, oh, can't wait to get this guy for promoting Nazism. We finally have him now, boys. ER, who does great video essays about, uh, he did one on uh, Death Note, which I really, really enjoyed. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, did you catch that? <laughs> oh my god. Did you see that? Did you catch that? Did you notice the shepherding of 14-year-old to Nazi propaganda? Did you notice the immediate in- But, 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 he took ER out of the shout-out. That means he saw we. Yeah, but he still left him in the one video, as I said before, and still said who he was. Yeah, and that video is deleted. Yeah, but it was deleted by YouTube, not PewDiePie. Also, he does show one of ER's jokes in one of his videos later on, showing that he still watches ER. I see. No, pause it. No, god damn it. I do not support that message. Whatever that what's it? Sexist, misogynistic, disgusting doesn't belong anywhere on this channel. I just want to put my foot down right now. I'm putting it down. You can't see it. I'm so yeah, in conclusion, PewDiePie is not sorry. And because of this, Hassan got upset and decided to start bitching on Twitter because PewDiePie didn't apologize like he wanted him to. And eventually the whole situation died down with PewDiePie never apologizing to Hassan. Oh, but PewDiePie among us with Hassan, me and he forgets him. No, that doesn't. PewDiePie only went to play with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, not Hassan. And hell, he only played with AOC to not make it look like he has a political bias. PewDiePie did not give any public statement saying he forgave Hassan. I honestly think PewDiePie forgot who Hassan was and just played with him without even knowing that Hassan was one of the people who started a slander campaign against him. And I doubt he ever will forgive Hassan since he has not and will not forgive the Washington Post. I don't give a fuck if my girlfriend goes and fucks another guy. Moving on from that entire situation from 2018, let's talk about one of Hassan's old friends, Destiny. When it comes to Hassan and Destiny, they went from being good friends. Why the f*** would I help anyone else? You're the only person I've ever done that for. You better feel special. Oh, wow. I do, dude. Well, well, I mean, I... was super cute, but... <laughs> You're cuter. Don't worry. If Destiny was my roommate, I'd get him laid all the time. I mean, Destiny is one of the reasons for why Hassan is even famous in the first place, two absolutely hating each other. So, I'm not going to, for instance, um, I'll use Hassan as an example. I'm not going to talk to a black person like Trihex and say, Hey, the N-word, it's always black. What do you think black people have? What a fucking liar, dude! What a fucking Weasley little liar! Hey, clip this, guys. Your daddy ran away from the debate because he doesn't actually care about intellectual integrity and then literally got me to say yes or no, like got me to answer a fucking totally open board yes or no answer when we know that he doesn't use the word in that way.
and then he fucking ran away and he got all of you fucking clip chimps to go and put that on LSF because he's a pathetic loser, okay? The one thing he's supposed to be good at is debates. And even then he fucked up to a literal bimbo, okay? Just remember that. A literal bimbo whose English, whose who's second language is what he's debating in. So think about that next time who you idolize, okay? I'm not going to talk about why they hate each other because I want to talk about that in the next part. But what I will say for now is that they had a falling out due to them disagreeing on certain political topics. But anyways, when I say these two hate each other, I mean they really hate each other. I mean, it's gotten to the point where Hassan has called Destiny a racial slur. Now, don't get me wrong. There are plenty of things you can make fun of Destiny for. I don't give a fuck if my girlfriend goes and fucks another guy. But making fun of him for being Cuban? Come on, man. Anyways, we're getting off track. Back when people were poking fun at Hassan for buying a $3 million house, Destiny noticed this and he decided to make a post on Twitter about it because he found the whole situation ironic. And Hassan, like he normally does when someone points out something that can be used to criticize him, got really mad at Destiny. And in response to Destiny making that post, instead of calling Destiny a racial slur, probably because Hassan couldn't think of any, he decided to slander Destiny by saying that Destiny doxed him the rich pay shirt and then and then the house which which you know that's right not, by the way that is what dunk. started it i mean you got to care somewhat he's acting like the news just landed on his desk but because of destiny's tweet it picked up and uh and for the past like three days 20th 21st 22nd it was uh it was trending and the fucked part is in replies to destiny's tweet people were posting hassan's address uh, and I don't want to get on Destiny's bad side because kind of like Aiden Ross, he has an absolute menace of a viewership that will hunt me down and make me regret ever speaking his name. Uh, he's one, he's right about that, too. That's the worst part about it is like I can't even fucking do anything about it because they'll just keep doing this. And it's not that his viewership is gigantic. They're just the most dedicated motherfuckers on the planet. This is the secret thing that streamers like literally all fucking know and recognize is that i'm sorry guys i know some of you guys like probably watch him too but his community is incredibly fucking loyal and they operate in the exact same way that fucking old like 4chan circles used to operate in like kiwi farms and 4chan they do it's the exact same way maybe they don't go to the same fucking extent like Maybe then. For those who don't know, doxing is when you leak a person's private information, like their real name, address. So let me ask you, how in the world is Destiny doxing Hassan? He's just showing a screenshot of a news article and a picture of him in a Make the Rich Pay shirt. Is it because there's a picture of the article in the post? The only part of the article he showed was the headline and the picture it had under the headline of his house's backyard. The house's address isn't even in the post at all. Hell, the house his address isn't even in the article. Also, the people who wrote the article showed pictures of the house first, not Destiny. And even then, the images in the article are allowed to be posted for the public to see because they in no way whatsoever show the address for the house. So this is in no way doxing. I find it funny that Hassan would accuse Destiny of doxing him, since Hassan has threatened to dox people in the past. Squirm after Destiny's stream is my favorite thing to watch. Here's some money for the best content on Twitch XD. Thanks, buddy. I have your email now, by the way, just for the record. So why don't you just stop fucking sending me donos to harass me for your daddy destiny with literally your email involved in it? What a fucking stupid thing you just did now. Why would you do that? Why would you donate money to me with your fucking actual email? You absolute idiot. I have your full name now. And this time, if I go to fucking Twitch... It's reasonable, because you're literally harassing me. Do you know how many fucking donos I've gotten from Destiny's fans tonight? Do you know how many fucking Destiny fans have sent me their emails tonight? Excuse me. Paying money just I'm so they can control. fucking shit talk? For that. Huh? How fucking brain dead are you guys? Of course. It's ironic. Now this does not surprise me that Hassan is threatened to dox people considering the fact he used to be a journalist because we all know how much they love doing that. But Destiny's audience was doxing Hassan, ergo Destiny is doxing Hassan. <laughs> 
then it's Destiny's audience doxing Hassan, not fucking Destiny. Unless Destiny is ordering his audience to dox Hassan, then no, this isn't a case of Destiny doxing Hassan. So yeah, Destiny did not dox Hassan. Pound my behind daddy. You guys remember how in part one I talked about how Hassan uses other people's content to entertain his audience when he's not talking about politics to entertain people because he can't entertain them on his own? One creator he likes to use to entertain his audience is the internet historian. And you would think Hassan would show some respect to someone that entertains his audience for him, but no, he doesn't. Because he decided to lie about the internet historian in a stream where he was about to watch one of the internet historian's videos and he decided to call the internet historian historian a chud for no reason. For those who don't know what a chud is, it's a term used by leftists to refer to someone who is a member of the alt-right. The internet historian is kind of a chud, so... Fuck you. Hassan, let me ask you this. How is he a chud, you fucking fridge magnet? Why would you even assume that he is one? What, is it because he made a video talking about an Antifa member that assaulted someone that 4chan caught? Which, I know he had a problem with that, considering Hassan doesn't have a problem with someone he disagrees with being assaulted. <laughs> Was it because he made a video about Shia LaBeouf's he will not divide us crap? Because he found it funny how 4chan fucked with him? Instead of being mad at 4chan? Was it because he made a video that is now deleted where he talked about the get tucked meme because he found it funny? Or is it because you're jealous that he entertains your audience better than you ever could? I swear to god, I think I honestly put more thought into taking shits than Hassan has ever put into doing anything in his life. While the videos I mentioned that the internet historian made were talking about events involving political groups, it did not involve the internet historian giving his opinion or praising one group. He only made the video because he found the situation funny, without thinking about the politics behind it, you broccoli-headed douche. I swear, the only time Hassan probably finds things funny is when it involves making fun of the right. The fact he called the internet historian a chud out of nowhere just shows he probably doesn't know what the actual alt-right is, he honestly had no reason for calling the internet historian that, and guess what, he never even apologized for doing Doing that, which honestly makes me think that he thinks he can never be wrong on anything and that he is always right even when there's undeniable proof that he's wrong. Who knows, maybe the roids are starting to get to his head. This all fucking righteous fucking- When you think of people who hate Keemstar the most, there is no doubt that H3H3 hates Keem the most. But when it comes to Hassan, he's definitely in second place when it comes to hating Keemstar. While it's true there are a lot of things you can criticize Keemstar for, some of the things Hassan says about Keemstar are completely bullshit though. To begin with, let's talk about the fact that Hassan decided to imply that Keemstar was a pedophile because of the fact that he was dating somebody that's 20 years old. This is low even for you! Alright, it appears that along with not knowing what a Nazi is, it's clear he also doesn't know what a pedophile is. The legal age of consent in most US states even in New Jersey, where you were fucking born. The legal age of consent in most US states, including New Jersey, where Hassan was born, is 16 years old. And also in Turkey, where Hassan was raised for the majority of his life, the legal age of consent there is 18 years old. So how in the world does Hassan think that Keemstar is a pedophile? Because even in Turkey, where, again, Hassan was raised for the majority of his life, if Keemstar were there, he wouldn't be considered a pedophile under Turkish law. She's 20 years old. Old. I can understand that some people might see most age gap relationships as weird if it's this far apart, but as long as the person who is the youngest in the relationship is 18 years old or older, then I don't care because it's 
fucking legal, and the person in the relationship isn't a child. I also find it funny that he's calling Keem, a guy who is dating a girl of legal age, a pedophile, but Hassan isn't calling Vosh a pedophile, even though Vosh has said stuff like this. Should consuming child porn be legal? I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. What's your honest opinion of Vosh? I personally like him, but your community hates him. What the fuck do you mean? My community doesn't hate Vosh. I think a lot of people um, didn't like uh, what he did originally and didn't like the way he apologized. But a lot of people in my community like Vosh and watch his content like all the time. It's probably the number one person that gets brought up for me to collaborate with, except I can't because he's banned um because of uh he's permanently banned but if we're being real um i think he provides a a good service I think that that would be, yes, more legal and more ethically consistent. Yes, 100%. For Hassan to lie about someone being a pedophile is honestly one of the most disgusting things he has done. Not only because he is making a false accusation, but because he's taking away attention that should be going to helping kids that were victims of pedophiles, or, or attention that should be going to getting rid of pedophiles like Minilad or that TikTok predator who likes seeing videos of kids in wet clothes. <laughs> I did not think Hassan and H3H3 could go that low in order to get people to hate Keemstar as much as they do. But if they're coming up with shit like this, it just shows they're getting mad and desperate that no one hates Keemstar or the things he does despite what they do. I also kind of find it fucked that Hassan and H3H3 are friends now. And it's not because they both are probably friends only because of their hatred of Keemstar. No, it's fucked he's friends with Hassan because of the shit Hassan says about one of H3H3's other friends that being I'll take your entire stock hey you guys remember the old h3h3 when he used to make comedy videos with people like John Tron who was and probably still is a good friend with h3h3 you want to try a little Kool-Aid okay punch me in the liver dude what what I don't punch me in the fucking I don't, liver I don't want it. <laughs> man <laughs> I said just what? Heck, they were such good friends to the point where H3H3 helped John clear up his name after he got into a certain situation. You see, back in 2017, John Tron went into a debate with Destiny that in the end made John look incredibly bad, and I mean fucking bad. It was to the point where people were calling John alt-right and racist. Now, if you want a more in-depth look at that situation with John Tron, I will leave a link in the description below to a video made by the gamer from Mars. Anyways, after the debate with Destiny, H3H3 decided to invite John onto the H3 podcast so he can help clear John's name. After the podcast, a majority of people understood that John was not racist and alt-right. He just wasn't informed enough on the topics he was talking about, and he was just incredibly bad at debating people, especially Destiny. Again, I wouldn't personally call John a racist over what he said, but I can at least understand some claiming that he was being a useful idiot for racist in this case. He went into a debate with only a surface level understanding of what he was talking about and it made him look very bad which he later admitted on the h3 podcast because had he come better prepared for the debate he may have been able to at least legitimize some of his opinions and not seem like a tool but instead he went headfirst into an argument against someone vastly more skilled at proposing and supporting claims than he could and it bit him in the ass really fucking hard. and that's still the consensus a lot of people have to this day with only a minority of people believing that he is still a racist and can you take a wild guest who's in that minority so there's this racist ass hat on the internet and his name is john jafari he's a popular youtuber he's a gamer and gizmodo using the term comedian very liberally calls him a comedian which i have issues with um john tron has a, a lot of interesting opinions on race uh genetic predisposition um race relations in america He's basically an alt-right fuckhead. John Tron, who forgets that he himself is non-white, but I'm basing this off of how, what a fat piece of shit you are, John Tron, you fucking like humanoid goblin fucking mixture, you Ted Cruz loving, fucking Donald Trump loving piece of shit. And I'm not saying this 
<laughs> now, 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 to be fair, despite this video being incredibly shit, it was made before the H3H3 podcast episode came out. Let's look at what he said after the H3 podcast episode. Oh, here we go. Here's a tweet where he posts a meme making fun of the H3 podcast for being centrist. That one didn't age quite so well. And we know how much Hassan hates those. But maybe his opinion has changed now. I mean, he's friends with H3H3, which shows his opinion has clearly changed on him. Maybe his opinion has changed on John. If you guys are disappointed by JonTron's anti-vaxxer takes, you're going to be very disappointed when you find out about his takes about black people. Uh, don't think he reformed on that either, for the record. Yeah, he, he is not a big fan, I think. Yeah, wait till you hear his takes on just complete false data about how rich black people cause more crime than poor white people, that sort of stuff. Like, he was, he's not only racist, but he's not even, like, smart enough to be able to say the correct talking points that racist fucking uh, jump um, to. Yeah, I'm not surprised that he thinks John is a racist, but at least he isn't dumb enough to think that John is a Nazi. Like, seriously, dude, one of his closest friends is Jewish, and that same Jewish friend defended him, and he has also made jokes that shows that he knows the Nazis are bad people because the punchline relies on the listener knowing that the Nazis are bad. Dude, I want to embrace my inner dark side. I want to look and feel the part. I want to go all the way. No, okay, this now this didn't work. Let's. I'm gonna take this off now. Anyways, back to Hassan. Now, as I said before, Jontron isn't racist or outright. He just wasn't informed enough on the topics he was talking about, and he was just bad at debating people. Which that's not being racist. That's just being unprepared and an idiot when it comes to certain topics. And plus, I mean, if he were racist, why would he make a joke like this? It's not going back. And then Sunny, who took care of the plants and the animals. What? And was also a very racist depiction of a black person. This game was approved by Sony with that in it? Here we can clearly see John making a joke about this very racist depiction of a black person, in which the joke's punchline relies on you knowing, like John does, that this is incredibly bad and racist because of how it depicts a black person. Now let me ask you this, why would a racist make a joke like that, one that relies on you knowing that racism is bad? Oh wait, a racist wouldn't. He also has made fun of actual groups that have racist beliefs such as the Nazis as I said before. I mean for God's sakes, if H3H3 is smart enough to know that JonTron isn't a racist, then that says a lot about how dumb you are. Also I find it funny that Hassan, a guy who called Destiny a racial slur, and also the same guy who used to work for a news organization called the Young Turks, which is named after a group who literally committed genocide against the Armenians, thinks he has any right to call someone racist. <laughs> Lastly, I want to talk about what he said about both Boblax and Nicholas Diorio because this situation clearly shows how much research Hassan does before he makes claims about somebody being alt-right. The estrogen coming off this guy's body. You know what? Wait, is this guy fucking memeing? Is this real? Wait, 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 wait. This guy said I have estrogen coming out of my body? Dude. Are Republicans this delusional? I mean, is he fucking... Is he... Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. I mean, voting for Trump is one thing. And I've always said... Voting for Trump is one thing. And I've always said that, like, the most psychotic thing that Republicans do is, like, act like he's, like, this macho, sexy, handsome man. But I never really thought that this fucking dude would be like, dude, you're such a soy boy. <laughs> You saw that. He did not. He just called them Republicans because Nick was calling him a pussy. Dear God, I actually have a fucking headache from trying to think of how he got to this conclusion. This alone just shows how Hassan doesn't know what the right is, and that to him, it's just anyone who disagrees with him. He also then proceeded to call Bo Black's racist for a joke. Didn't that Bo Black's guy literally do a fucking song 
where he was just singing the n-word which you honestly think hassan would know what a joke is considering his uncle is chank uger but hey i guess not and also again the irony of hassan condemning people for saying something racist and also, apparently, while I was editing this video, it turns out Hassan got banned on Twitch for saying a racial slur in both a joking and in a way to actually insult people. <laughs> Man. Also, these two probably don't give a fuck about politics, considering what one of their friends has said about them. Who I will not name, because for a while, he had me blocked on Twitter. What? Yeah, because Nick DiOrio is known for, you know, being a Republican, voting for Trump. As a friend of Nick DiOrio, I have no clue who he voted for. I can't, I, I don't even, honestly, I don't even, I don't even know if I had to guess, but he probably didn't vote. I don't know. That's all I know about Nick Dior. Anyways, after he did all of that, Nicholas Diorio and Bo Blacks both responded, basically calling out how stupid Hassan's claims are, with Bo Blacks reminding him of something incredibly stupid Hassan said. Oh yes, I'm talking about 